Hi everyone, hope you're doing well out there. I wanna give you some updates of where we are with our health uh, numbers and our response for next week. Continue to do a great job, really appreciate everyone's partnership and patience and collaboration. We're safe, we're open, we're as normal as possible. We've got um, student athletes moving into sectionals this week at the high school level. We've got field trips throughout all levels. We've got just great things happening here each and every day where, where students are engaging with meaningful learning um, with each other, with their caring teachers. Um, really appreciate everybody's efforts to get us this far. Looking at the information from the CDC, Livingston County is still at the highest level. A little closer into the Finger Lakes, we're at 4.5. Last week, we were at 4.7. 114 cases here as I pulled the information today. Uh, if we look a little bit closer in our zip codes earlier this week, um, again, we had about 26 cases here in our zip codes. That remains a small percentage. So again, um, total numbers. Uh, um, COVID is in our community, but we wanna keep that in perspective that um, you know, as, as far as active cases goes, um, again, it's small percentages of, of, of our total population here in our zip codes. You can see that in our zip codes though, we did have a, our highest level here in Livonia, 14 cases last week. Lakeville, again, the highest level at six. Um, Canisius and Hemlock a little bit lower, um, but Hemlock being at its highest level with three. So we take a look at our bigger perspective with the CDC numbers, um, and then we're gonna take a look, a closer look at the Livonius um, perspective so we understand where we are and what our response level should be. Um, again, we're gonna be looking for last week's uh, data from the October 18th to the October 24th date and implementation of any changes are gonna be on November 1st, next Monday. So as we take a look um, at the information out there, we did have, um, some higher numbers roll through with some positives. Um, as you can see here, uh, we get um, seven on Monday um, and then five the rest of the week with our, our highest um, week total of 12. Um, still though, um, far more students in preventative um, COVID protocol, the orange line, um, and still seeing more negative tests come back than positive tests. So certainly manageable. Um, we did have a little bit of peak here as our zip codes did, but also our school district uh, last week, again, we got to 12 positive cases across the buildings. That was 0.69% of all the total positives of people in person. Looking, um, again, looking over over time where we are, the positive cases, right? We had a, we had a pretty high number over a weekend coming back on last Monday, the 18th. Um, but where does that put us? That put us in, in substantial because again, CDC has Livingston County in high and then ours was 0.69%. So we're our first time here in the moderate level, which when you combine the two, that puts us in a substantial response level um, for next week. That doesn't change anything with face coverings because of the mandates, the state mandate still exists. Um, so no changes there. Um, still working on physical distancing. Uh, it will change some things, uh, outdoor concessions starting next week. So not, not anything this week, but starting we implement on Monday the 1st. If there were to be outdoor concessions, they would move into prepackaged foods. Uh, another change comes with our monitoring of symptoms. And so because we're in the substantial level having, heading into next week, um, we'd still continue to ask you to do individual monitoring, but we're gonna ask you to do a weekly attestation of um, uh, indication that you're monitoring these, these symptoms here. We will also add in some random in-person health screens. Um, that is where our nurses will go to different classrooms. Um, again, at random and then, um, and then uh, just do some uh, temperature checks behind the scenes um, and some wellness checks. Again, please, um, this hasn't changed, this comes from the Department of Health. Please um, keep your children home if they have any COVID-like symptoms. Again, because we're in the substantial level, that means next week we're gonna ask you and we'll send out additional information to do a uh, once during the week to do a health attestation. Um, and then again, we'll reassess where we are uh, with the information after that. So uh, more to come on that through the Frontline Health app. Transportation again, uh, face coverings are required. They're required at all levels because that is a mandate. Uh, visitors and volunteers will still be similar to um, you know, uh, approving those that are essential um, for educational purposes. 
large group gatherings and events um, is going to be moved to limited capacity next week. Um, and so what will that mean? That will mean something different for each and every um, event that we have. Um, but right now, again, this only starts next Monday the 1st. Um, we decided to make that process in order to ensure that we had time to adjust and monitor and move and communicate. So any of those changes for next week will come into play um, as we move into next week and more information will come out. Indoor and outdoor facility use, there'll be some limited facility use based again on the request and on the event, um, very customized and targeted. So we will be in substantial uh, heading into next week, the 1st through the 7th. Again, thank you for sticking together, um, staying focused and continue to work the problem. We did have a little bit of peak there with 12, uh, 12 cases last week. Um, we hope that this week we'll finish uh, lower and we'll be able to um, have our response level go back down. But for next week, starting November 1st, we'll be in substantial. Um, continue to see additional information come out. Pre again, appreciate your patience, your cooperation and your support through all this. Um, stay healthy and be well.